One of the best memories I have is coming back home from school, turning on my computer, connecting to the internet and listening to this sound accompanied by my mother's screams in the nearby room because her phone call just got cut off. Ah, good times. I would go on armoredgames.com and after waiting for about 10 minutes for the page to load, because the internet sucks, I would play some browser game classics such as Defend Your Castle. There were no gacha mechanics, no pay to win, no premium skills, all you had to do was enjoy the wholesome gameplay where dozens of stickmen would siege your base and you had to defend it by eating them few hundred meters into the air so they would fall and break their knees and spine on impact. And as with anything I love, I decided to destroy it today using artificial intelligence. The idea I have is pretty basic, I will make an AI that takes a screenshot of my screen every frame and since all the stickmen have a distinct white head, or at least so I thought and that definitely won't be a problem later on, the AI will search for white pixels and when one is detected, it shall move my mouse cursor to that location, hold down the left mouse button to grab the stickman, then move few hundred pixels upwards releasing the button and hopefully sending this idiot soaring into the sky. Moreover, considering my previous experience with granting AI control over my mouse... Oh shit, it closed the game. Uh, I, I can't exit the Steam window. Fuck, the mouse ain't listening. Um, I can't close it. How the f did you open the task manager? Uh, I, I think I have to shut it down from the power button before it does something bad. Fuck! This time, I've actually implemented the failsafe from the get-go, so if the AI goes rogue once again, I can pull the plug on it by simply pressing a key on the keyboard. Pretty straightforward, right? I'm sure it will work from the first try. Oh, it actually works? Trust me, I'm as surprised as you are. Even the failsafe is working. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that was way smoother than expected. So I guess we can move to the next step then? Whenever a round ends, you get to this menu screen where you can save the game and press OK, which sends you to the store window. Here, you can spend the currency you've acquired to purchase some upgrades. Let's ignore them for now and instead make the AI click on both OK buttons whenever the screen turns black so that it can automatically move to the next level. Um, why is it also working? Should I be concerned? That has never happened before. The first few rounds are pretty slow and there is barely any variation except for some stickmen running faster than the others, but even that isn't something the AI can't handle. On round 8 we can finally see a new unit and it's gone. At this point I started wondering if that's it, did I actually make it? Was that simple AI enough to beat the entire game or are we in for a surprise later on? All the stickmen have a distinct white head or at least so I thought and that definitely won't be a problem later on. Is this guy? Wait, it can't be lifted. Um, shit. What am I supposed to do now? Fuck. Well, I guess that is the answer to my question. Not only this asshole doesn't have a white head as the rest of the stickmen, but it can't be thrown into the air, meaning the only way to kill it is by getting some units such as archers, sudoku bombers, or mages. And here is where the difficult part starts. First of all, in order to start recruiting units, you have to purchase two different upgrades. One such upgrade is the temple, which allows you to convert enemies for later use. And the second upgrade is either of these three. 
archery range for recruiting archers, demolition lab for the bombers, and mana pool for the mages. Not only that, but the recruitment process is a pain in the ass by itself. To convert an enemy, you must drag it into your castle at the right time and at the right height. If you drop it too high, then it will simply get squashed. If you drop it when another unit is being recruited, then it will get teleported right in front of your gate and start damaging the castle immediately. Whenever you have a soldier recruited, you have to click on the respective flag to assign it to one of the towers, but if it's a bomber, you have to press on this stickman icon to release it on the battlefield and then click on it again to detonate. While archers are weak, they at least shoot by themselves, unlike mages who have a cooldown for their spells, which you must select first and then click on an enemy to cast that spell. Lastly, even if you went through all this bullshit and got some units assigned, if your castle takes any damage, some of the recruited soldiers can simply die. Oh. Honestly, at this point, I was considering giving up and wrapping up the video, but the 10 minute mark won't complete itself, so it's time for a programming montage. Well, that's it. We should took me the same amount of time in real life. First I made the AI automatically click the temple upgrade and the mana pool upgrade icons at the end of each round. Once the temple is purchased, the AI will start recruiting units every 14 seconds, which is roughly the amount of time the recruitment process lasts. It does so by looking for a white pixel on the battlefield and dragging it into the castle territory. Since sometimes the enemy can die before the AI even manages to get a hold of it, I would check once again if there is a white pixel in the castle area before releasing the mouse button, so we make sure we actually convert someone before waiting yet another 14 seconds. After the conversion, the AI will click on this flag, assigning units to the mage tower, that's if the mana pool upgrade was purchased, otherwise it will just click on the skybox, which doesn't do anything. Then it will try clicking on the second skill, again if that has been unlocked, selecting the mass explosion spell and casting it on the first found enemy, obliterating anyone in its range. In case you're wondering what the spells do, the first one is unlocked the moment you purchase the mana pool and it deals damage to a single target. The second spell, which is the one we are going to actively use, is unlocked whenever you have recruited 4 mages and it deals AoE damage but it still has to be casted on a target. Third and last spell is unlocked once you've recruited 16 mages and it allows you to instantly convert an enemy unit. Alright, enough beating around the bush, let's see the improved AI in action. At first there is literally no difference, because the temple has not been purchased yet, but at the end of the first round, we can see the AI attempting to buy the upgrades, however we don't have enough coins yet, so let's fast forward to the moment where the changes are actually visible. The temple has been acquired, so the recruitment process should have started now. Yay! It actually works! There is no use for them now, because the mana pool has not been purchased yet, but it will start building an army until the moment we can assign mages. Alright, the mana pool is unlocked, now we shall see the new mechanics in action. The mages have been assigned and BOOM! It works! Now the question is, will that be enough to defeat the giant? Here comes the giant and... Fuck! Um, <laughs> okay, okay, about 4 hours down the drain, but I shouldn't give up, it's fine, these things happen, breathe in... <sighs> okay, it's all good now, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Fuck!
So the mage strategy didn't really work, but it wasn't too difficult modifying the AI so that it recruits archers instead. And since archers find targets and shoot them by themselves, I have a really good feeling about it. But even if it doesn't work, I can't be bothered anymore, so let's enjoy the final result. It might not have been enough to beat the entire game, but at least we managed to defeat several giants and all things considered, that's a huge win. And don't you dare take this from me and say otherwise. Huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers for supporting this brain rot and make sure to check out my other video where I trained an AI dominate with 100% accuracy the game Duck Hunt. Bye.